Hey, Lori with Hardworking Mom here. Today we're going to do a really fun project with two of these pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. You're also going to need a little bit of styrofoam and you're going to need some little Halloween picks and pumpkins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of keep these together. We are going to attach them with zip ties. have some black zip ties and I want to attach them in places where you're really not going to see it. So we are going to put a bow up here so I can zip tie it here. Line it up. There we go. Now on the inside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of styrofoam and I'm going to cut it down to fit inside. So what I can do is I can mark. Let's kind of come over here, about right here. I'm just going to mark where this is going to be, okay? And then I'm going to score it because we don't need this whole piece. I'll score it on the edge. You just want to score it on both sides, get a pretty good score. And then you should be able to pop it off. about six inches wide, about an inch thick. I do want to kind of even it out. I'm going to dig a little channel in here. To set. To set pumpkin. So this is gonna this is gonna be our stand. So you see you need something to keep it standing. Alright. Now we're gonna use some zip ties to keep this together. So when I'm adding zip ties, I'm gonna put the tie up towards the top. For one, you don't want to damage your table. You want to keep these together in this channel. I'm also going to put a zip tie right on the edges. But I want to put it in areas where you're really not going to notice it too much. So 
I'm going to turn it to the side to get these zip ties going. And I'm going to zip tie it across the front. There we go. So one in each section. One here at the end. Now don't worry if it wants to tilt over because as we get things in here it's going to become bottom heavy and that's what's going to keep it standing up. Put these off. can also put a little bit of glue across here. Hot glue. Okay. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to decorate this top and we're going to decorate the bottom. So I'm going to take my little picks and start separating them. So these picks came from my supplier. These picks and these picks are in my shop. This is a Halloween pick, this is a hat pick. Okay. So when I work with picks, I always want to get as much as I can out of them. So I'm gonna pull them apart. to kind of bend and move them but you can see what we're going to do is we're going to put them in here I'm going to get a little glue on them and then I'm going to put them right down into this styrofoam So while I'm working on it, I can put something heavy in the bottom and that's going to keep it from moving around. I want things inside and outside. And we're going to use all the colors of Halloween. Let's put something different in here. With these, you can twist them up. Right, let's look at the picks that are in here. 
We have all kinds of cute little stuff. And don't worry, it will sit straight. It's just going to do that while it's unbalanced. But as you get stuff in the bottom, it'll be just fine. Go ahead and set this pumpkin here.
Mau apa sekawanin? Make sure that you bend them so that it looks more natural. I'm also going to put two zip ties right up here at the very top, but I want to use the black so that you can't really see it. This is also going to help with stability. For these long skinny pieces, I'm putting them in that little crevice we made. These are little harlequin hats. I'll put one in the middle and then one on each side. So the pumpkins, I want to kind of set when I put on my table. I just want to set the pumpkins. Oops. 
kind of on each side. Like this. And we're going to work on the bottom. Okay, so we've gotten pretty much what I want to get in, in here. I want to work on the top. So what we can do on the top is we can cover it with some jute. to use a glue gun because I tend to burn myself so I'm just gonna put a little stick in my glue pot and I will kind of cover this with a little glue bottom. I'm just going to start wrapping it. Down and around. Push it down, keep going. So that glue I put around it gives it some place to kind of latch onto. Okay, make sure it's all on there snug. All right. So now I'm going to put a little bit more glue on the top and kind of around the edges. Right. Very important that you use glue that's not really hot and it's not going to burn you. This is why I use a glue pot and not a glue gun. If you're going to use a glue gun, use a low temp one. These stick pretty well. Okay. Trim it off. There we go. So we've got our little stem. Now let's talk about how we're going to cover all of this styrofoam. So we have several options and you can kind of pick whichever one you like. So and these are from the Dollar Tree. This is a spider web which I think would be really cute. So see this is a spider web here. It has little spiders in it. cute. You see what it's like? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of set this on its side and I have some of this black crepey cloth and I want to put this on first. Now you could just do the spider web. You could also do some of this decorative shredded paper. But I kind of wanted to give it a little coverage with this first. So I'm going to cut some pieces. I'm not really measuring, I'm just cutting some pieces. Okay. I'm going to kind of paint the outside of this with some glue. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna kind of drape this across. We're also gonna cover the bottom. You wanna do a thin layer on the bottom because you don't want it to not sit on your table well. Okay. Let's cover a little more. See, now I'm pulling it out. So let's do this side. And the sides. It's a little messy when you're working with your glue, but what you can do is glue it down. I'm going to spread around a couple times. I'm gluing it down. Okay. You could also use floral pins. But as you can see, it really covers it well. Alright. If you had a lot of excess glue, you can take a hair dryer on a low setting and that should kind of take care of any little strings that you have. I'm going to take some of this and I'll cut it in pieces. Alright, and I'm going to kind of put it inside this and then I can take so what you can do is take these pins cut them down so that you have just a little piece and then tack that down What I like about this is that I can cut it up and I can stretch it out so that I can cover the inside. And I don't want to do it before. You could also take your extra pieces that you cut off and bend them in half and make another little pin. So a little bit of this goes a long way. All right. And what I like is I can kind of spread it and get it in there. You can use this little pin I created. Push it down in the styrofoam. Okay. Let's make another one. Okay. Just be careful you don't poke yourself with it because it's easy to do. See, and I can put it in, and it's okay if it looks messy because it's supposed to. Okay. This is why it's fun to work with something that's kind of open like this. Okay. 
So you can see one bag of this goes a really long way. And you can do it with any of the ones that I showed you. See, I'm just kind of putting it in there. And then I just take one of my pins. And I just push it right down. And that's it. What? A video, what you doing? <laughs> Isn't that cute? That is really cute. Isn't that really good? Yeah, it did. I know it would be. Well, just because this is like the easiest little centerpiece thing on the planet. done. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the whole inside covered. So you can see in the bottom. So now we're just going to make a bow for the top and then that'll be it. So now that we've completed this part, we're going to make a bow to put on the top. I also have some of these little spiders that came in the web and I'm going to glue those wherever we have our little Zip black zip ties and that will just cover where we have our zip ties. I'm gonna do a pretty easy bow. Okay. I'm gonna do about a nine inch tail. Okay. I'm gonna do about five inch loops all right so three loops looks like that What I'm going to do is put a little bit of wire on this. Just enough to hold it together. Because we're going to make a second one just like this. Okay. So again, about a nine inch tail. Five inch loop. Five inch. And another five inch. Dovetail the edge, all you do is fold it over, cut towards the corner. Another little piece of wire. So I'm making sure I have it right in the center where it was on the bow maker. Then what 
we're going to do is we're going to tie it on either side. Get out a little, a little bit of an orange pipe cleaner. I'm going to tie one side over here. Actually, let's do a little bit more. One side over here. One side over here. Trim off this excess wire, and I'm going to use that same spot, twist it off a couple of good times, and I'm going to trim that off, tuck it back in on itself, and then when I pull it out, you're not going to be able to see that. Okay, so what I did. is I tied it so that it would be nice and clean on the inside. And then we're gonna hide where we tie it on the outside with this middle loop. You see, I turn it off. I just kind of tuck it under and then pull this loop right in the middle. Just like that. I'm going to put one spider up on the top here. Right. right there. You could also put a little raffia up here. You could also put raffia in the bow. I want to put a little spider here where our zip tie is. Right there. Okay. Same thing on the other side. That's it, we're done. Look how cute this is. Can you see all the cute little stuff in there? If you're worried about your tails, you can trim them off or kind of pull them to the side. Like this. Like this one I think is a little too long. Let's trim this one off. That's better. Now we can see what's inside. Can you see? Look how cute that is! You see that? You can't see anything on the inside except for our little decorations. You can put, so these are from the Dollar Tree. You can put these around it. You could put pumpkins. Now ignore that one. That's not really a uh, little pumpkins around it. And right on your table. You could also put this down your table. This little spider web with some spiders in it. Put this right on top. And there you go. So cute! Alright, I hope you all enjoyed this. And I will be back with more Dollar Tree fun soon. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye y'all.